All right. The update's finishing up. The last little bit of test in the testing group are finishing up. Um, just last couple finishing touches. I thought I would just give you an awesome sneak peek of uh, the sub account itself, raw sub account. We're going to set up an assistant knowledge base, get it going. We're going to talk to it in live chat, and then we're going to call it a day. All right, so let's go ahead and create our assistant. And I'm just going to call this one uh, Haley. Very unique, huh? And then we're going to say you are an intense sales rep for a B2B software company. This is Will AI. All right. And these are going to be fed context windows right before the update. So now when we connect, we start to learn more about the company, the sub account itself. We crawl the web, not only scrape the website, but we'll crawl the web to learn a little bit more about this company so that we can start to inject these context windows into these uh, generations like this. Um, just so that, you know, the, the things that we're able to generate are not only, you know, on target, but they're on target and accurate to the business itself. Okay, perfect. So let's go in here and I need an active tag. So new active tag, perfect, Haley. And then we'll just say Haley. That makes things so much easier, I bet. All right. Easy enough. So we have an active tag. I don't, I'm not really worried about a phone number. Now let's take a look at this. Um, I may come here and I may optimize this a little bit. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say replace this with more direct actions in the task, such as ask the user and Form the user. Um, be asking three to five questions and then suggesting and booking an appointment. Easy enough, right? So we're going to have this generate our, our new prompt for us. Holy shit, that's a ton, isn't it? We're gonna save it anyway. Mm, that's fine. Let me give her a little bit of a persona. You are Haley, an intense. Okay, perfect. And we auto save. Got our version history here. Very cool. Let's go here. This stuff is fine. Um, that's fine. I think really all we need to do is I have the tag on. Let's show our checklist. So I need to connect a knowledge base. I need to add a calendar. So I'll add this calendar here and then tools. Let's add some of these in here. And I'm not going to do any extractions, but I may do some verbiage training. So I'm just going to add all these that, that I created and have been using. So I'm going to do that. And let's throw that down in a wood task, but I want to, I don't want to flex too hard, you know? Okay. So we should be good. Um, I do need to create a knowledge base though. So I'm going to create knowledge. I'm going to say Haley's knowledge. If I could spell, huh? So let's create a knowledge and then I'm going to add some, I think we're just going to do, I may do FAQs here at the beginning and, um, Actually, I may just have it scrape the site. So I'm gonna have it scrape the site. Um, so I'm gonna have to scrape the site and um, generate a little bit about us just from what's on the website since it's still on the wait list. And then while that's going, I'm just gonna do some text here and say um, our voice minutes start at 0.07. Per minute with pay as you go billing and then I may even throw in here some stuff um, our chat plans include uh, let's say our pricing for the platform is based off of locations Starting at three locations for 225. 
and then we'll do 10 locations for 450 and unlimited locations for 975 easy enough right and then, uh, basic I don't know basic text and so you can kind of see what's going on here um, so like this one right is like this one is super basic so we're able to embed like these little bit of things here and you can you can see you know full transparency of what's getting embedded and uh, and how it's working so it's pretty pretty fun easy enough and then uh, so in here we can uh, maybe even take oh I did I already took a look at that one okay um, oh this website's great okay so let's go back here and let's go to knowledge I'm just gonna add that knowledge base over here to this one <laughs> I'm going to save those changes. I think that's all I'm really going to do with this one. I'm going to keep the model the same. I'm going to keep all the other settings the same. I like my temperature about there. Uh, I'm not doing any calling on this one. Okay, easy enough. So, um, I would simulate, but I think we're just going to get right to it. I have my tag Haley, and I don't remember if I have it on here. So all we need is just this one workflow to make this entire thing work. So let's activate with Haley. That's what we're going to do. All right. So um, I'm going to start a new chat here just because we don't have any like conversations, right? And so let's just kind of simulate someone coming in here. Uh, let me just check on how this knowledge is doing. The store vectors. I knew this one's going to take a, a while. There's a lot of, there's a lot of data on the website. Um, a lot of data on the website so um, easy enough right but we could probably just kind of run with what we have and um, and make it work so I'm gonna go to conversations and then I'm just gonna kind of start the conversation like a traditional live chat and that'll be coming through here and we'll see that the AI will start to respond Very good. Um, and we can even see here, you can kind of see the cadence of how everything's working. Um, you know, so the message comes in, we process it. We do a little bit of pre-processing too, and you can kind of see the request log here of like what's being sent. Um, and then it doesn't look like we may have got a, uh, a pre-generation on this one, just because uh, knowledge base takes 15 to 20 minutes to kind of, you know, uh, embed and everything, so. Uh, let's go. What's the biggest challenge you're facing your business right now? Let's say um, volume. We can't handle it because it's true. And we're just going to run through a little booking scenario with this one, make it real easy. This time, resources are you investing in this problem? Um, all of my time. And every resource I have. <laughs> I don't know what other question, what kind of question is that? I don't know. Let's see if we're starting to embed. Yep, starting to embed. But it doesn't look like we have, um, you know, crazy amount of data to, uh, to do it with. But since there's so many embedding types, or so many, um, you know, so many types to. To go with you know we could um, create a really robust knowledge base we have audio mp4 scraping so I'm going to take a lot of my YouTube videos and put it in our personal one just to kind of train it um, the verbiage here out of the box incredible I mean you saw it like we're you know we're nine minutes in but I also talk your head off um, pretty urgent if we don't bad things happen I guess uh, we can say something like that it's not wrong. Okay. What would it mean for your business if we could solve this in half the time? Uh, looks like we have a little double generation there. We'll pass that before it comes out easy enough. Um, what would it mean for your business if you could solve this challenge in half the time? Um, obviously a ton. Very valuable. I like this little verbiage replacing thing here because, you know, I, I use really casual language and, you know, LLMs tend to, you know, be a little, 
you know, excited when they talk, which is fine. But I replace all men with more casual language, like, you know, hello is replaced with hey, hey. Um, you know, periods are replaced with dashes, because I tend to do that a ton. Exclamation points are re replaced with periods. <laughs> and, um, you know, things like great is like, sounds good. So uh, I like this a lot. I'm going to use the hell out of that, uh, along with the new uh, knowledge base and, you know, processors. We brought it all in-house. So all the vector storing and everything like that, we're doing in-house. Um, and from the feedback that we've gotten, this has been very, very incredible. It's very accurate. It's very good. The context windows are absolutely insane. Okay. Um, would you be interested in? Sure thing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good one. <laughs> we have to take that one out, huh? That's fine. I'll do that while it's generating. Um, let's see this one. Okay. All right, cool. We got some calendar time. Sweet. Sounds good. I have some openings tomorrow at 10, 12. Do you have anything later in the week or no? The verbiage is like, out of the box, pretty good. And, you know, the, the last kind of finishing touches is, you know, the full suite of, um, well, the generation is pretty quick. The full suite of um, functions that are in there today, a little bit beefed up. And then um, just some here, there's that we found uh, just from kind of the, some, some stuff that we're testing on making a little bit faster. Um, as you can see, it's, we got it down pretty quick. And that is with knowledge base retrieval functions being called everything else in the entire world and let's say can you check again for me and kind of see you can kind of see it going to work here um so pretty quick and you can you'll start to see it do um you'll start to start to see it do its tasks um which you know is anything from booking the appointment to pulling calendar times things like that so you can kind of see everything here um uh, looks good um let's do next monday can you do 4 p.m. or no? Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this update, which I'm sure <laughs> everybody is. You know, the generations are super good. There's just some data stuff. Like, there's um, this. Uh, you know, we have this. This is, like, my final little checklist of, like, you know, things that need to be gone through. Um, you yeah, know, before we do that. Okay, that was pretty quick. Did it do what it's supposed to? Um, let's take a look. Boom. Pretty nice. As you can see, even completing tasks is, is very, very quick, very, very efficient, very accurate. Um, much better. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff that we've built, we've built it in-house and it's, you know, it's stuff that we've like actually built. So, um, oh, it looks like I need to add my URL here. Um, but it's stuff that we built in house, like our, um, you know, our knowledge base retrieval is um, very innovative. Uh, I'm very, very excited for how it's done and even the different types of knowledge um, and how extensive we can get with a ton of these. Like the audio MP4 is a really, really big one, uh, especially since my life is kind of on YouTube and content. Um, you know, it's going to speed up support a ton because we're going to deploy this in every realm of business. And since these are a little bit more general than your traditional um, you know, AI uh, chatbot platform, whatever, you know, that's catered towards sales. While these are very good at sales and qualifying it all, um, we're going to use ours for coding, uh, customer success, support, sales, um, just about every aspect of the business, even um, as an executive assistant to myself. So going to have a, a lot of really cool ones. Um, and even with the things like custom functions will allow us to be able to do that. Um, so this is where, you know, all the pre-built uh, tools are going to populate. Then you'll see, you know, there's going to be a thing called created by you, where you can, um, you can do uh, some fun things with functions, and you don't have to know how to code. We just kind of give you an easy interface that allows you to. And we can see version history here, looking real good. We can run a simulation. So while we run that simulation, um, I'm hoping that this will. Um, if this isn't done tonight, I might just, uh, I might call it quits. I don't know what else to do from there, eh? Um, but I think we're, we're pretty close. It's just kind of like getting these last little bit of things here, uh, done before, 
you know, before pushing everything out. So I have, um, I'm actively testing now while kind of finishing up on, on the actual like data and platform itself. Uh, I have a couple other people uh, helping me, testing with me and everything. So, um, you know, we're working through, you know, finding some things, some here, there's, but overall it's actually been quite incredible. Um, you know, there's been like the one or two things that is like easy stuff. Uh, like that double message thing is like, I, I know exactly what that is. It was something I was messing with earlier. Um, but we have yet to break it, which has been awesome. And we've been throwing everything we can at this, everything we can, because we have literally seen it all. We have yet to break it. Um, and this is verified by third parties. So not just internally, but, uh, haven't been able to break it quite yet. So we're real excited, um, at the, at the potential and we're coming up on the ninth inning on push. It was supposed to push yesterday. Um, but there were some things that come up just day to day shit, you know how it goes. And, um, and even with this, there's just some things that I wanted to make sure before we put this out that, um, you know, we're really, really good. You know, like I think we've kind of like things like the simulation, the interface, I think we're pretty good. Um, there are some things I want to clean up here, make it a little bit easier. You know, like things like the optimize prompt and the generate prompt and the assistant creator. Um, there's some some things I need to train it on, uh, which shouldn't take very, very long. I have the data just kind of sitting waiting. So now all the pieces um, over this, this period of doing this, um, you know, have been kind of just coming together and, and waiting, right? And uh, now it's time to put them together. So here's your integrations, um, Twilio, OpenAI, Grog, Claude, Airtable. We know there's Twilio because you're like, what the hell? There's high level. Yeah, that's that's what the tags are for. But also now we have buy a number or import a number. Um, so you can import your own custom telephony uh, to make uh, AI calls. And you can uh, buy a number through us if you're based in the US to make AI calls. And then that'll be done through active tags on high level. And those things can actually be synced. If you have Twilio in your high level, you can just sync it up with us. And then you have this fully autonomous agent on both ends there. And you're like, well, how do I build a chat, uh, you know, a chat bot versus a, a voice agent, whatever terminology you want to use there. This is the same thing. They're all in one. Um, so this, this right here, this model will handle not only inbound outbound calling autonomously, uh, it'll handle SMS, live chat, WhatsApp, S I said SMS, Facebook, Instagram, any channel that high level will take, um, it'll take as well and be able to do very, very well all in one go. You don't have to build a million of these things. And you even saw um, just from this basic generated one, and this is no context windows. I don't have a website or, or really anything in here. I, mean, I didn't even give it anything. I didn't even prompt this. Um, and it was still able to execute, you know, a really really good conversation and um, the verbiage is good the cadence is good the processing is very very fast so it's very exciting and um, if I didn't make this video just to not leave you in the dark um, because I know this was supposed to be pushed and I even have like notifications in the platform that this was going to be pushed uh, technically on Monday so I guess right now as of this video it's still technically Monday um, but there's, you know, like I said, you know, like I've said in all of this update, there's just some things that I want to make sure that are done um, so that when this goes in production that there is no, um, you know, there's no you know, stop to the service. There's no uh, hard learning curve either way. Um, everything will just kind of be done for you now. You know, when it comes to assistant generation, you know, there's no, you know, uh, there's no like, you know, templates or anything. You don't need them. We can just create them for you. Uh, based off of a trained model and the things we've learned about your business by crawling the web, crawling the sites, and we store all this in the back to learn more about you so that we can customize your experience for you. And with the new dashboard, we're able to talk to you with the attention needed, give you some analytics, and then even you can use the magic box to say, hey, my stuff's not booking. Um, and you can either read a support article or you can have it tell you about not booking. Um, so support for you and your clients is chef's kiss. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and we're going to wake up. It's going to be an amazing week, because we have some fucking cool stuff coming out. I'm real excited, but um, happy Tuesday now. Looking forward to it.